Hello, my name is Alexa and I am the Assistant Head of the Digital Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. Today we will be making a folded book art heart using instructions from foldedbookart.com. To create this project, you will need the following. A hardback book that's over 220 pages. For this example, I'm using The Lake House by Kate Morton. A ruler, a pencil, and scissors are optional. We will first need to calculate our starting page where our folds begin. To do this, find the last even page number of your book. For my example, it's page 492. Then divide that number by 2. For me, that gives me 246. Then subtract 119 from that number. This gives me page 127 as my starting page. Just a reminder, your starting page number needs to be an odd number. So if it turns out that it's an even number, simply add one to it. First, you will need the heart pattern to know what to mark on each page. Use the URL on the screen to access and download the pattern. Turn the book so the spine is facing towards you. Open the book to the starting page you just calculated. For me, it's going to be page 127. Take your ruler and line up the 0 cm side with the top left side of the page. Start with the first mark in the pattern. Don't move the ruler after placing the first mark. Place the second mark from the pattern on the same page as the first mark. Make your way through the book, continuing to mark the pages until you reach the end of the pattern. Remember, you're marking only odd page numbers. A good tip to keep in mind is to write out the page number on the pattern as you go to keep track of where you are. To begin folding the pages, turn the book spine away from you and go back to the first marked page. Fold each page exactly on the marks that you've made. Try to keep the folds as close as you can to 90 degrees. Not all the folds fit the page exactly. This will just depend on your book. Sometimes a part of the page crosses the spine of the book. If this happens, simply cut the paper that is crossing the spine. Repeat the folding steps until there are no marked pages left in your book. Look at that beauty. The finished folded book art is worth the time and effort it took to complete. It's easier to do this project in chunks. Go chapter by chapter in the book to make sure you are marking the correct page. Take your time when making the marks. If you mess up, it's okay because everything is in pencil and can be redone. Remember, this is not a race. Go slow when marking the pages and when folding. But most of all, remember to have fun. This is a strenuous project because of the attention to detail, but it is totally worth the effort. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions related to crafting, technology, or the library in general, you can call the Digital Services Desk at 847-663-6606 or use the chat feature on the website at www.nileslibrary.org.